What's up guys? Happy, I think it's Tuesday. I'm here in Naples, uh, Italy, in Napoli. And I want to do a, a face, uh, Instagram live. Um, show you guys the view, it's a beautiful city. Been enjoying my time out here and um, in Europe. Was in Greece for a little bit, in um, Athens and then Mykonos, and now we're, and now I am in Naples, Italy. So, uh, I know that I always come on here and talk about real estate, but um, wanted to show you guys a little bit of the view here in Naples. Check this out, it's beautiful. So that is the famous volcano. I think it's called Vesuvius. And then Pompeii over, is over here. And you have the Amalfi Coast on the other side of that mountain right there, which is like an hour and a half away. Uh, but look at this view. I'm in an area of Naples called Kiaia. Beautiful town. Uh, I was checking up real estate here. I talked to some real estate agents here in, uh, in Napoli. And they were telling me in a real nice area of Naples, which is this area here, it's called, again, Kiaia, C-H-I-A-I-A. Uh, you can get a real nice um, apartment, condo, two bedroom, two bath for 400 euros, 400,000 euros. So I thought that was kind of cool um, to live in a, a beautiful city like Napoli, Naples, Italy, and home of the pizza. So last night I had, I had our first pizza here in, in Naples and it was so, so good. And today we had um, fried pizza, which is like a, almost like a calzone, but it's not a calzone. It's a little bit different. Um, but the dough and the ingredients and the food and the service and the people and the, and the language, it's so much fun here in, in Europe. Um, I, I really enjoy myself here. Um, it's my first time in Europe. Uh, sorry, first time in Italy. But check out the view. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this view? You guys like it? Uh, and then if you guys have ever been to, to, to Naples, let me know if you guys have any recommendations. We have Homes by Megan, what's up? Jay Baker, Smart City Design Link, what's up? Red Jola, Minka, what's up? Marcella, uh, Callahan, Realtor Kevin Quinn, uh, Save and Fire, uh, Rosa Espinoza, uh, Vega Cells, uh, N. Richani, uh, Yina Realtor, Davood, what's up? Sequoia, what's up? Uh, and then R E B Y S C. Not sure how to pronounce that. If you guys, let me know if you guys have any questions about real estate. Um, I'm lucky enough to, to take a two and a half week vacation. I have my operations manager Maggie taking care of business in town, and I also have one of my team members, T Tara, uh, my new team member uh, who's new on my team. Uh, starting to work on, on our first client, so I'm really excited about that as well. So real estate is still working in, in LA while I'm on vacation. I think that's one of the most beautiful things about this business, is that if you can organize yourself really, really well, uh, you can take long vacations, and things are still you know, working in the background, back at home. Um, but it's all about you know, kind of building a structure, building a team, or building the support underneath you. Um, and I have great support, which is amazing. Uh, so we have two new listings coming on the market. Right now they're uh, going under a, a, a very light rehab, painting, staging, uh, doing some other things in the house that are gonna help with the value, cleaning up the yard. Uh, I got one in Encino coming on the market for two and a half million dollars. Uh, they're spending about $50,000 in renovations. Um, and then I have one in Mar Vista coming on the market for 1.5. In that one, they're spending around um, forty thousand dollars, including staging, uh, to get that to get that done. So let me know if you, if you guys have any questions. Uh, Husby Homes, what's up? Julian uh, Julian Andres, what's up? List with Natalia, what's up? Let me know if you guys have ever been to Italy. Again, I'm I am in Naples, Italy. Let me show you that. What's up, Imaros Real Estate? Check this out. Beautiful. I'm in Naples, Naples, Italy. This is the home of the pizza. So we've been, uh, we've been having some pizza. We had fried pizza uh, today for lunch and last night we had a uh, prosciutto with cherry tomatoes and all the ingredients are just insane. And the dough is amazing. 
Uh, yes, Napoli, exactly. Uh, if you guys like soccer, uh, you know, Maradona played for Napoli back in the day. Uh, and, you know, I'm Colombian, so one of our uh, star keepers for the Colombian national team, Ospina, is playing for, for Napoli as well. Uh, unfortunately, I came one day after the Napoli Juventus game, which is a huge game here, here, here in Italy. So I was kind of bummed about that. I didn't really plan ahead. Um, are you sailing out here? No, I'm not sailing. I will be sailing here soon, though. I tell you that because I love this place. Um, we probably will take a sailboat out, uh, but we're just kind of enjoying. Uh, so we're staying at a at a B and B, uh, and we have this view of the bay. So this bay is right next to Capri. So I'm like an hour boat ride to Capri, which is a beautiful island off of um, off the coast here. And then the Amalfi Coast, which is where we're going in a couple days, is where you have um, Amalfi, you have uh, Periano, you have uh, Revento, I think that's what it's called. Um, and then there's a, another city that is really popular that I'm just kind of blanking on right now. Um, it starts with a P. Uh, my girlfriend will, will know what it is. She's getting ready right now for dinner. So uh, how, do you dis how do you disconnect? Any tips? Yeah, great. Well, th well thanks for asking me, uh, Joey. Um, honestly, it's easy for me to, to, to disconnect because uh, um, I have people working back at home. Uh, so my operations manager, Maggie, who's also my assistant, she takes care of everything. And I always involve her with all my clients right from the get-go. So even at a listing appointment, I bring her to my listing appointment. Um, not always, but, but sometimes I do. Uh, and then before the trip, you know, I let all my clients know I'm going to be out of town. Um, you know, not, not every single client, but some clients that, that are you know, trying to reach me every single day. Um, but they can still reach me. You know, I, I, I pay $10 a day uh, on AT&T to get the international plan. So I have unlimited data and, 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 and calling. So I'm still connected. But I'm not, I'm not looking at my phone, you know, checking emails every single second. Um, I have all that um, kind of disconnected, right? Like all my uh, notifications on my email are disconnected, as they always are. But I'm not checking it. I'm not checking them constantly. So I, I have the structure in place in my business where I can leave for two and a half weeks and things are still getting done. Obviously, I'm not prospecting, um, but that you know that's okay, and that's the choice I, I'm, I'm making to not prospect and to be out here and enjoy my, my vacation and my downtime. That way, when I get back into town. I'm 100% and, and, and I'm ready to go. So I'm excited about that. So hopefully that, um, hopefully that uh, answered your question. I think more importantly, if you don't have an assistant and you can afford an assistant, get an assistant. Um, that's the, fir the, the first thing that my coach said is get an assistant and that was very scary uh, to, you know, to have an employee. <laughs> but in order to build your business, you have to have people to help you out. Otherwise, there's no way you can grow. Um, ho hopefully that help you out, Joe, uh, Joey, in, in, your, in your question. Uh, thanks, Alex. Alex is my uh, my social media guy, so uh, he's out in Dublin. Uh, what's up, Alex? I'm not sure if you've ever been to, to Naples, Alex, but I highly recommend it because they have amazing pizza and amazing views and amazing people. But we got a we rented a Vespa. It's down here somewhere, and we're driving around the Vespa. But this is this area is called Kiaia. It's really, really pretty. Um, I forgot to do a live from, from the Greek islands. I was in Mykonos uh, for about five days and that was awesome. And I was in Athens for, for about 24 hours and that was really cool too. Um, let's see here, uh, Giovanni, what's up? Um, thank you so much, Alex, I really appreciate it. Let's see here, who else? List with, with Natalia, thank you so much for uh, telling me to, to enjoy my vacation, I appreciate it. Um, and I think uh, Amato's real estate, who I interviewed, she is probably Italian. Um, do you guys have any questions about my business, about real estate, about how? <laughs> There's my girlfriend. <laughs> come on, babe, come out here and say hi. Um, she's she's just getting ready for dinner. It's really hot out here, so what we decided to do, and what's very customary in Italy, is to take a nap in the middle of the day. So we did our rounds on the, on the Vespa. We visited some places, some churches, some underground, um, um, uh, what, what are they, like under, underground tunnels of, of things that got destroyed with a huge uh, volcano erupted and there's a mudslide here. So we, we did that. We ate uh, fried pizza, which was insane. 
Um, and then we came back, we took a nap, relaxed for like an hour and a half, two hours. And now we're gonna go back out of town because it's cooler right now. And everything is closed from four to seven. So no, no pizzerias, like everything. I mean, there's probably one out of 20 that are open. But for the most part, everything is closed because here in Italy, people, the, like, the time is so different than America. And in America, it's all about money and let's go, let's, let's keep our doors open. Over here, it's not like that. So they're open late, you know, around you know, 10 or 11. They close like right after lunch for an hour or two. They close after lunch for two or three hours. And then they're open from like seven to midnight, you know, seven to one o'clock. And it, you know, there's not a lot of tourists here in Napoli, uh, in Naples. They call it Napoli here in in Italy. But um, yeah, it's crazy. Like like people that that live here have dinner really late, and I'm assuming they you know they just get up late. It's just kind of part of the part of the the, the lifestyle here, which is awesome. Uh, let's see here. Uh, List with Natalia says, "Is your social media getting any leads?" It's not getting any leads right now, um, and that's the goal is to get some leads through through social media. But you know, I know that it, that it takes time, and I'm I'm also not as active as, as other people are on, so, on on social media that are getting leads. So you know that's that takes some time, and and you know I'm getting leads through through other sources. Uh, but you know, hopefully sooner or later I'll get some leads through through social media. But you know, my goal here is to is to help out other agents um, with their business because I you know I like to I like to mentor other other people, uh, and you know I think sooner or later people are going to say, Hey, I have a friend moving to LA, you know, you know, I know this guy named Paul who has been great. And I, I see him every single week on, on, um, Instagram live. So I'm going to refer him a client. So again, we, we, we haven't gotten a lot of leads from social media and, um, it takes time. Uh, Douglas realtor home says, what's up, bud? What's up, Douglas? How are you, man? Um, all right, guys, I got to get going. My girlfriend is waiting for me and we are going to get some dinner tonight. Some good, uh, Italian food in Napoli. Let me show you guys the view for one last time. So beautiful. You got the moon out there. Oh, I can zoom in here. I don't know. I can zoom in. So you got the Amalfi Coast on the other side of that mountain over there. Some of the best food is made right here in Napoli. But look at this, gorgeous. I love this town. Anyway, so, salute, cheers. All right, guys, have a good one. We'll talk later, bye.